Hello and welcome everyone to yet another Defrag demo review. My name is Crazy Al and I'm joined by the one and only Sky Ignition. Uh, hello, hello everybody. Uh, I can tell you were ready for that. How's it going? Uh, uh, this is your I'm map. Sure no this is the round four. Oh, it's going to be so fun. I can't how, wait to see how. Please tell how everyone did. how long this map has been in production. Uh, too long. Don't worry D about it. Do you even know? <laughs> I could count the months, maybe. Okay, let's not. Um, a pretty uh, well, it's a non-linear map, kind of non-conventional map, I would say. If Defrag has conventional maps. Yeah, I'm. I'm really proud of this map. It's uh, definitely I, pretty cool. I think. I, I think it's pretty cool. Sorry, go on. I know it's. Yeah got some issues but i think uh spirits there i think the runs are going to be amazing that's the main thing yeah same the, the demos are definitely going to be very interesting and speaking of the demos why don't we jump right in we yes, have please. 29 demos for cpm uh sorry for vq3 my mistake um let's get started shall we hopefully i have the right config executed i do my number 29 no nice it's a mirror Taking the back door entrance. Yep. The easy way. Oh. Oh man, he's really putting on a show for us. Oh yeah. Is this gonna be he's... his he he did say he submitted a twenty five minute demo. Something like that. Yeah, I think he's trolling. No I really way. hope this isn't okay, this is a twenty five minute demo. I'm sorry, Emir. We're not gonna watch this. We're gonna skip ahead to the twenty eighth place. If this is if that's truly the twenty five minute demo, then let's see who's up next. That is impressive. Uh, admit, oh god! To the bit. It, it's Demonor, who I think said in the chat earlier that he submitted an amazing run. This wow. is a six well, minute if, run. If rank twenty eight is flawless, then we're in for a show. <laughs> Okay, I'm seeing some hesitation. Is that what you call it? I, I don't know what. <laughs> Anxiety, I think. Uh, so right, we can take we can push. take this time to explore, like talk about the map a little bit. So you have, uh, you can see down in the bottom right there are zero out of four. That's frags or checkpoints essentially. These little yep. glowing orbs that you can see floating. Yep. There's there's four paths to take from the spawn. You can choose where you want to go first, second, third, fourth, but you gotta do all four. Uh I don't know what <laughs> he's just taking his sweet time, okay. We have a Z Wob here and yeah, this. which he opted not to do. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, so there's multiple, there's a bunch of different ways you can do each room, pretty much. Uh, but there's obviously going to be an optimal way, and Demonor is not doing any of the optimal ways. I think this is his first run that he finished, probably. Well, then we get to explore it with him. That's great. Yeah, which, you know, is actually pretty impressive. Just for six minutes, I think. It took me more than six minutes to figure this map out, that's for sure. And I was playing oh, it only a minute run. That's not so bad. Uh, well, he said six minutes. I don't know how much I believe it. Better there we go. Oh. So, OB, like a horizontal OB section here. Where Onto you have some to... slick to make it yeah. super easy and trivial. Yep. And then you slick your way through these platforms, which is trivial in CPM, but looks pretty tricky in BQ3. Yeah, it's, it requires definitely some strafing skill. Uh, you can't jump, otherwise you fall. So, yeah, yeah it's a, it's definitely a technique. So I'm just going to go ahead and just skip through this little wee... Oh, actually, he did jump, and he made it. Let's go. Oh, God. All right, let's see the water. <laughs> Please, no. This This is my favorite section of this map. I, I bet it's, it uh, is. It's the most creative. I worked on that section the most just to make it 
it, it played decently in the first iteration, but it looked kind of crappy. And then I, I just kept reworking, reworking, reworking. I love how he's just like, nah, I'm not going to do that water section. Reminds me of you. Yep. That is me, indeed. So another um, Z-Wop here to get through this sort of snaking section, which again, pretty trivial in CPM, but looks pretty tricky in VQ3. I wonder if he has plus strafe bound or not, because he's not z wobbing at all. No. I mean, there's, well, a, there's a painted icon there just to tell you that it's a Z-Wob. Seems pretty is, obvious to me. Is that the universal symbol for Z-Wob? It is now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think he's going to do it like this, isn't he? Yeah. There he goes. Well, I'm kind of happy I added that little bit then, so that you can just... Oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> right, let's... Uh... We've got to respect people's time here. There we go. Nope. Nope. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Yeah, I think Demon Art is a fairly new player. I just discovered Defrag last week, that's true. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Right. Come on, we've got to do this water section. Two minutes on the water section. Someone in chat says, I like the Z-Mob indicators. It gives a portal vibe, and I do agree with that. That is pretty cool. Thank you. I never thought of portal, but yeah, they do that too, don't they? Yeah, at the beginning of every portal test chamber, there's like symbols telling you what's going to be in each each portal, each test chamber, rather. So what's the strategy here? What are you supposed to do? Well, there's... the idea is it's it can be pretty dynamic, but the easiest way to get through this water is to just go through the jump pad, hold jump, like he exactly like he just did, and just go through the first three water volumes. Mm -hmm. And then you fall into the next one. You can go to the end of this little blob, hit a bit of lava, to slow you fall, you descend a little bit more. Does the lava serve any purpose? Like, yeah, does it do, any, does it do anything differently from the water? No, it's the same as water. It's just, okay. uh... Let me pick apart every single detail, okay? I was, yeah, I was just curious if it has any different properties, that's all. It hurts you. Yeah, true. It hurts me inside. Alright, come on. We can do this. Six minutes, you said, right? Is that like 6.55 or 6.05? Oh, who knows. I think it's going to be the best part of seven minutes. <laughs> I hope this is the end of the uh, This is This is the one. This is going to be the one. Yeah, there we go. Gotta be. All right, now it's just a straight line to the finish. Let's go. And uh, you pointed out something important as well during the week that in order to swim in such a small volume of water, your feet have to be submerged, not your upper body. Is that correct? Yeah, so the, the part of you that floats, I guess, is more your feet than your actual view. So if, you're, if your view is in the water, then chances are you're gonna fall out pretty soon. Yeah. So you gotta like stay bobbing above the water. All right. Otherwise, it just doesn't work. True. Twenty uh, seventh place now. Who do we have? Hopefully, it's a relatively optimized oh. run. We have Effect Anton. I was hoping that he would actually give it some. Uh, whatever. So this part, inspired by JJM2, some classic pillar jumping. Alright, first Z-Wub. Nice. Nice. And he makes it, let's go. Is that gonna make it though? No. Bad. Uh, this this hurts. This hurts to see. I really... I hope there's only like maybe one more demo of people not trying. It looks like it's also his first or second run too. So you're not going to have the speeds. 
to do it that way, you need the Z Wob. Or not the Z Wob, sorry, the horizontal OB. Yep. She didn't it's get a G, it. not a J. G meaning you have to walk off the edge of the platform rather than jump off the edge of the platform. For anyone who doesn't know. Cool. There we go. Nice. I think he was actually jumping at the end though. It looked a bit hard. Alright. Nice clean water section. I love it. There we go. Oh, he made it! Yeah, I thought that was going to be too high. Like, dropping from too high a height. Yeah. I'll play just over two minutes for effect. All right. That's a four and a half minute jump. Yeah, let's go. 26th place, we have... Kit Kat. Nice. Also opting not to take the... Oh, go in the... On the easy route. Going straight for the helper. Oh, interesting. Just skipping everything. Well, avoiding everything. Nice, nice. you can just do that. I didn't know that. Yeah, would that have made you enjoy the map more? <laughs> no. <laughs> it wouldn't have made a single bit of difference. Yeah. Nice wee jump at the top there. It's going to help him get across. I think he thought that part was slick. <laughs> The way he kind of stopped there, or I don't know. Maybe he was trying to stop for to get a decent circle jump. I think he, I think he saw that his spacing wouldn't work, so he had to yeah. just go reset. All right, showing off all the uh, avoiding the fun parts routes. But at least, at least you have the option to walk through. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, so that was perfectly executed. Uh, pretty much the intended route. Exactly what he did in the water there. It's 130, almost. 129. We'll play Kit Kat next up, 25th place. Oros. Um, been a while since I've seen that name. Love me some good Egyptians. Nice strafing, that was yeah, good. Full beat. My wrists are too old to do full beat anymore. That's why I play VQ3. Nice, clean. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, why not? z -Wub. Nice. All the way across. Oh no, what was that? Don't worry about it, okay? Oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah no, it's fine, sure. Perfect execution. There we go, there we go. That was a good z -Wub. <laughs> Leaving the best for last. everybody did I used I always did this as my first section because I thought it was the most annoying and inconsistent section but In that, that's CPM, just me. that might be accurate yeah well played one unfortunately one. water friction is different in CPM and VQ3 and so you fall oh, really? through it way faster in CPM there you go didn't know that yeah Next up, 24th place, we have Phoenix. Straight for that Z-Wob. That was Ooh, so clean. That was a nice -Wob. And over the top. If only he carried that through and actually did the strafe. Okay, I can't, I can't uh, knock my Canadian brother. Considering he's a JJM master, I figured he would have uh, gone for the air strafe there. Nice jump straight across. Oh, okay. Just skip it. Yeah, fair enough. That was actually slower. I don't know why he opted for that. 
Um, easier. Flash, maybe. A little bit of pizzazz. Just taking the piss out of you. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Nice. Got oh. half of the war. First skip. That's good. I like that. Mino asks, if you aim up and press forward in the water, do you go faster? That was... I was trying to do that, but it just it didn't work out in the end. Freestyle mode enables. You can do that? Yeah, it disables all the teleporters. Oh, okay. Um, Only no after wait. you finish the run, of course. Alright, interesting. I didn't know that. Uh, 23rd place. And the VQ3. It's Compolimus. That looked like CPM. That was interesting. Yeah. Alright. Perfect textbook. Zwub. I like it. Gonna go straight for the blue tally? Yep. Yeah, so the teleporter gives you a little bit more speed than an overbounce would, so it makes it a little bit easier, but you still need to try pretty hard for the strafe. Okay. Nice. Catch. I gotta thank Cubit for making this this water looked so bad before, and Cubit <laughs> made it look like uh, some Donnie Darko stuff. It does look like the Donnie Darko thing, doesn't it? Yep. Shout out to Donnie Darko. Good movie. Great movie. 107.5 for Compolimus. 22nd place now. It's Dino. Let's go, Dino. Oh my god. What Whoa. a gangster. What a total gangster. I didn't gangster. know that was actually doable. That was crazy. Dino's my favorite really YouTube cool. player. No offense. Well, I knew I wasn't. <laughs> That was really cool. Yeah. I tried that I tried that so many times and it just did not work. Still going Again. the slow routes. Guess across clean at least. Ooh, left side Z-Wub. Or overbounce. In across. 104.4. Played. In 21st place. Is Enter. Enter. Nice. Good job. Wait, was uh, that his demo? I guess so. I don't know how that makes it through. But I'm glad that it did. 20th <laughs> place. Like what? What even was that? Is that a mistake? Or yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Good job. Nice. DF comps admins. Uh, twentieth place we have Mikendo. Friend of the stream, right? Yeah, I mean everyone's a friend of the stream. Fair point. Everybody's a friend of everybody. We jumping. I hope we're jumping. Nope. Never mind. Oh, a little bit. A little bit of jumps. I'm kind of, kind of happy that that's actually possible because it's the the jump and crouch timing is so tight yeah. that I feel like that is actually a skill to be able to do that. <laughs> Those days in chat. Amir, you just moved up to 28th place. Congrats. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah, congratulations on your new placings, everyone. Fifty nine point one. Let's go. Sub one. Sub one. Up, up to the top 20 now. We have... 
Ashka in 19th place. Good strafes. Still, still no pillars. We'll get there, don't worry. It's just so fun. Riding those walls. Pretty clean section there. Nice strafes, nice strafes. Hybrid beat. Oh, just makes it through that water. Wow. So close to falling out. That was ballsy. Good little time save though. Fifty eight point two in the end. Well played. Eighteenth place now. Boris. Let's go. I love how they're just opting to completely skip the Z Wob and all that. Just go straight I, for the I respect it. Z Wobs are incredibly annoying. My opinion. This one does require a lot of precision. That was the name of the map for a long time. Was uh, the Annoying. nickname, I guess. Precision. Thank oh, you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> There's already a map called Precision. Yeah. Well, this one's better. A Z Wob is, uh, is somewhere between a, a, a vertical overbounce and a horizontal overbounce. It's basically a diagonal overbounce, but Z Wob yeah, stands for. Sorry, go on. It's zero UPS weird overbounce. I don't know why it's called that, but basically yeah. you need to be moving between zero and one unit per second when you hit the ground. And the way to achieve that is to use uh, plus strafe instead of just W, A, S, and D. And you move a teensy weensy little bit in any direction, and then you'll bounce in that direction. But the thing is, depending on that like sub one unit speed, you'll get a different angle. So you can get like a a really really steep Z wob so that you just bounce basically straight up vertical, or you can get one that's really close to a horizontal or any angle in between. So if yeah. you're trying to fit through a little gap, it requires some insane precision. It is quite finicky. And for those who don't know, plus strafe is uh, basically a modifier key that you can hold and uh, means that your mouse movement becomes your actual movement rather than your look, if that makes sense. So it makes you move forward, back, left, right, so, and so forth. By moving your mouse, yeah. Yeah. So 17th place now. It's um, Poison. Is that who that is? Yes. These single letter names, man. They really get to me. Defraggers are the worst for names, honestly. Yeah. I appreciate people like Boris, who have had the same name since 2002. I'm an ultimate right now. Nice. Really clean. Really good strafes. 53.3. 16th place. There's Nibbits. Fellow mapper. Yeah, his maps are really good. Yeah, Nibbit maps always slap. That's one word you could use for that. Nice. I like that little skim on the corner there so he gets into that. Um, jump out a little earlier than everyone else. I guess uh, I'm. I really. It's a good thing I added that bridge there. 
Because everybody's using it. Yeah. Good catch, Rain. We're definitely going to see someone do the pillars. This is defrag. We are defraggers. I mean, I did the pillars, so hopefully. Yeah. 52.8 in a bit. 15th place now. Final stretch. There he is. Hey. There you go. That's <laughs> that's how you do that. Slowing down in a defrag map. You're out. You're off. It's precision. It's not all about speed, you know? <laughs> we play a very different game. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, you play, you play CPM, I play VQ3. There's the precision we were talking about. Yeah, so the idea is you can, like, use that jump pad and hit as much or as little water as you kind of want to risk. But the less water you hit, the more speed you have, the faster you fall. Yep. So there's, like, a really, really delicate balance that you can choose how risky you want to take that water section. Well, that was a 52 in the end for Kitten. 14th Ran place. Half an hour ago. <laughs> Ibonza. Is he going straight to the... Yeah, he is. Let's go. Oh my god. Well played. <laughs> and the bridge. <laughs> yeah, straight to the... No, me neither. I, I saw some people do it in CPM. I didn't know you'd be able to do it in uh, VQ3, though. Rip. That just goes to show you how effective that water skip is, that he just falls there, and is still yeah. top 15 demo. And doesn't use the corner, either, for the Z-Wob. That's impressive. Most interesting route so far. Yeah. Please do the jumps. Nah. Dino's the only gangster among us. Seriously. Well played, 51.2. 13th place, lucky number 13th place. It's G-Height. There we go. That's another uh -huh. way you can skip the war. I like that one a lot. That one's good. I approve. I tried it for a bit and decided that I didn't like it. I see well. Didn't touch a single wall. Alright, so I guess uh, top three is going to use the actual air strafe through the pillars, huh? Race 7.7. 7. Well played. 12th place. Damn light. Straight across. No problem. I guess that water was a pretty huge bottleneck and these guys figured out. Oh yeah. Had you intended the water to be skippable? Not in VQ3. Okay. I'm uh, not very good at finding alternate routes, even on my own map. <laughs> well, I think when you make a map, you do become a bit more like single focused, don't you? Uh, I mean, I get I get really tunnel visioned on one route on like every map, whether yeah. I make it or not. 43.8 there for Damn Light. Crazy. 11th place, we have Kit. I think this is the way of things now. In terms of skipping the war. War just costs so much time. Yep. If you're able to skip, skip it, then it's going to put you head and shoulders above quite a lot of players. He must play on like there we go. 75 sensitivity, right? <laughs> See that skip though? Doesn't need to Z-Wop. 
true. You know, people always say that about Ket, that he must play on really high sends because he's so shaky, but I have heard from people that he plays on quite a normal to low sends. And he's just a shaky person. I don't know. Uh, well played, though. I've missed the time. What do we have? 39.8. Let's go. I feel like even without seeing the name, you know that it's Ket playing. Yeah, for sure. All right, into the top 10 we go. It was Frosty. Frosty, the VQ3 player. Nice 270 degree circle jump there. Yeah. There we go. That's interesting. Still takes the bridge, though. <laughs> I wonder if that's even lower. Hmm. Nice strafes through that section. Didn't need to slow down one bit. 37.3. What a pro. Shout out to Frosty. Ninth place. Soup. Shout out to Soup. Didn't even touch the water. Same as Frosty there. Uh. Yeah, that is... Ooh, invert half-beat. Love to see it. Beautiful. It's not slowing down a bit throughout that section. 37.2 in the end. Really stylish no, was... run there. So clean. Yeah, for real. Soup is, uh, is always a joy to watch. His demos are always um, clean, like you say. Eighth place is Acid. I'm not going to lie, that, that skip is a little upsetting. Look at this gangster. Hell yeah. Jumping through it, nice. Oh, slightly Ooh. different right there. I like that. I do like it. There I also like his half speed. He's got a good strafe style. Yeah, for real. Seventh place. Robogop. His Gopar. Damn. It's... I think that's the way. That's got to be the way. Must be. There we go. I He's swear happy. that was impossible. <laughs> Yeah, I, I learned so much about mapping for a cup during this round, and watching these demos is like a whole new lesson. 35.2 on the button. 35? Jesus. Uh, sixth place now. Jelvin. Let's go. Not someone you see often. Nah, but I knew he was going to play this. It does seem like the kind of map. Um. Straight across. Nice control. Barely, barely makes that. Squeezing every unit he could out of that safe. No pillars, though. Damn it, Jelvin. Nope. Amateur. Oof, with that straight, I don't know about amateur. That was really good. 34.8. Top five. Nookie, let's go. Another name you don't see very often. These people are crawling out of the woodwork just to destroy my hopes and dreams. <laughs> Welcome to being a competition map. 
There we oh, go. Yeah. You know what? Ghost has been putting up with that for like 10 years now. I shouldn't be complaining, <laughs> should I? Yeah. That guy's got the thickest skin. Nice. Just what I would expect from Nuki. 34.4. Crazy. Fourth place. Delta King. You've reduced the King of France to fourth place. <laughs> what have you done? I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> if, that's, if that's the only accomplishment that I get from this map, rank one, two, and three are going to blow our minds, I guess, huh? Yeah. I haven't seen Zass yet, so Zass is definitely in there. I mean, so if somebody as good as Delta, right? He can do that airstrike. I wonder if it's even like, does it save any time? Is it faster to go around the back? It doesn't make sense. Thirty-four point one. Top three. Zass in third place. I think what other really good PQ3 players are we not seeing? Shio is going to pop up. Shio, you think so? No, definitely not. <laughs> if we do get a pillar route, right? let's go. Ooh, could be Springy. That would be cool. Springy first place? <laughs> Doesn't even jump there, just takes the ground frames. Yeah. 33.9. Like it's nothing. Faultless, really. Second place. Roman. Of course, Roman. How could I forget Roman? Show us how it's done, Jan. Alvor GB in first place. <laughs> if he beat this map in VQ3, I'd be impressed. That would be enough. <laughs> Bill on the on the I think it might be comparable, you know, this bridge route. Ooh, uh, oh that was you cool. do that. Wow. Yeah, that was sick. Shout out to Roman. I take it back, Dino, you're not a gangster. Roman's a gangster. Thirty three point eight. I need to see that strafe one more time, because that was impressive. What skipping around the back of the building? Yeah. Yeah. Very, very CPM like. Pushes himself out to get past and then a half beat strafe or inverted strafe. The way, you want to look at it. the way that acceleration works below 320 units per second is like. It's a com it's such a different technique that the fact that he could pull that off is super impressive because yeah. most of the like air direction changing he was doing there was below three twenty mm -hmm. and like you you don't have yeah the the rules are just different below three twenty it's really interesting well played Roman definitely highlight first place who do we have Dex okay. let's go Dex wow. Dex is back. Did he play the previous rounds? I'm not sure, you know. I feel like I have... I, I've, I've seen him play recently. I can't remember if it was yeah, a demo online. or if it was just online, yeah. I've been seeing him online a bunch, which is really nice. Obviously, you've captured his attention with this map. I feel like there are some parts that just feel like they come out of 2006. Is that when you started making it? <laughs> Thirty-three point seven for Dex. Well played. Before I even knew the game existed. <laughs> All right, let's jump on into the CPM demos. We only have twenty-three. Uh, sorry, twenty-nine um, CPM demos. For some reason, there was a mistake with the demos, but we're just going to run with it. There are more than thirty demos for CPM, I believe. <laughs> Ah, so we're not going to see a 25-minute CPM demo. There you go. Immediately, we're getting some bullshit. <laughs> Look at this. What is this? Are you kidding me? 
<laughs> and he does it. And then we, you know, I never even gonna, expected. He's going to do that for all four, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, I don't know how you pronounce this person's name. I'm going to call them Gebel because it's easier. Look at this. <laughs> anything, anything to not Z-Wub. Huh? Oh, that is amazing. I know he doesn't do it for this one. He's just like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> well, there's a roof on this one. You can get it from the back, though. That's crazy. Well played. Just for creativeness alone, you shouldn't be 29th. Uh, 28th place now. We're going to see some bullshit in this, you know that, don't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> or DDPY? Oh, I missed the time on that previous demo. 37.1. Sorry, I'll restart that because I kind of missed there. So going around your patch there that stops people from getting in from the back and hitting a teleporter. Yeah. Just barely clipping it. Going for this type of skip on the water. Interesting that that was actually totally doable in VQ3 without all that setup. And yet yeah, he still went for the setup. And standards. Standard slick section, I expect. Yeah. 6.8 in the end, well played. Next up, 27th place. Lexa. Sorry, someone... I think J. Howie told me how to pronounce this name last week and I've forgotten already. Oh, okay. Ooh. Did <laughs> you just get around? I was, was like... I thought they like... were going for a teleporter. Okay, yeah, you don't even need to do a whole... Like... Circle, you just... Stop in midair and fall back down into it. Yeah, I guess it just compounds your height. Yeah. I won't let that happen again, guys. <laughs> Don't try. Oh, no, this is this is what makes maps interesting. I know it's set for mappers because they're all their hard work is just skipped over. But as a spectator, this is what makes oh, defense sure. so interesting. I mean, even as a spectator, for me, it's really interesting. Very far it also hurts my soul. Oh yeah, I can imagine. Uh, We're gonna 20... see like a fifteen pretty soon. Twenty-six place enter. Actually playing the map this time. Well done. Good job, mate. <laughs> I wonder how that happened. Yeah, see, very CPM style. Jump straight across. All right. I feel like the, the VQ3 skips kind of shocks me, but I'm not going to be surprised by any CPM stuff. I just can't wait to see what it is. Yeah. 34.6 for Enter. 25th place, we have J Height. Nice. Doing his same start as he did before. Is he the only, only person we saw do that start? I thought we would see more. But yeah, thankfully, there's. Since learned. It's unnecessary. Yeah, there you go. We're doing a similar, um, similar but you know, way less impressive strafe to as um, Roman did in, in VQ2. Obviously, it's pretty trivial in CPM by comparison. The path selection is also kind of interesting. I may not yeah. have been paying full attention the whole time, but it's kind of obvious which segment people had trouble on because they do that one first yep and now yeah, we're seeing me. those slick pads last every single time in cpm because yeah it's trivial 24th place z guys nice quicker route than what we saw someone else do before that was the one that i knew about oh interesting yeah okay I just jump on up with uh, using the ramp. Well, you should give this guy lessons. <laughs> Damn, he's fast though. He's quick. Yo. Yeah. A little bit of wall strafing. Never hurt anyone. 33.1. Well played. 23rd place now. Cute bones. 
appropriately using bones. You think he's got a pink bone skin? Oh yeah, for real. Nice. Oh. Almost, almost using your intended CPM, right? <laughs> I wonder if anyone will. I would honestly, I'd be kind of surprised if they did. It was very not intuitive. Thirty-one in a single frame. Cute bones. Thanks for submitting a a shorter demo this time. Cute bones. Uh, twenty-second place. We have Tarzan. Good timing. A rain. AKA the organizer of the FPS, main organizer of the FPS Cup, anyway. And look! A the intended route! Let's go. I gotta say that the cute bones thing, that required a lot of precision, which I appreciate. Yeah. Straight across. Nice. Oof. Doesn't matter. <laughs> 30 point two. My first place, Torje, or Torje, or however you're supposed to say it. Man, I wish I, I wish I'd realized you could just jump straight across that. Here we go. Wow, that one was cool. This guy must have a big mouse pad for that. Yeah. Oh, did he miss? He, he missed. Oh no, he didn't. Sorry, I'm an idiot. Damn. Have it first twenty nine, easy, and twenty first place as well. Top twenty now. I Bonza, once again, going for the straight across. Yeah, unfortunately, all these other routes where you're like jumping across, doing a Z wob or whatever, nice. um, you've started the timer by then, mm -hmm. so you're still wasting a bit of time, even though you're skipping the water. So, circle jump across seems to just be the best because you're not starting the timer yet. Round the outside. Nice. Like that one Eminem song. 29.3. Well played. 19th place. It's Hendry. <laughs> Stephen Hendry. F1. Phil Hendry. No idea who that is, mate. Classic radio talk show host. Oh yeah. Really good strafe in there. Damn. He's nice, carrying that momentum. There you go. This is just clean. 28.9. Cleanest run we've seen yet. 18th place we have Corner, 2015. Interesting. God, I wish I'd thought of this. Yeah, same. <laughs> I would have patched it out. <laughs> no fun allowed, says Mapper or Ketan Ignition. Damn right. You need to suffer as I have, alright? I've been working on this for how long? I've played this map for Since more hours than all of you. Exactly. <laughs> 28.6 with Thorner. Played. Up to 17th place is Manoa. Is that who that is? Yeah, 1709. Classic defraggers not letting anybody know who they are. <laughs> Whoa, that was a really, yeah, that really was... powerful ramp jump there. For real, that was a creative route. And he didn't do the slick pad blast. I think he's the first CPMer to do that. Yeah. Twenty-eight point one in the end. Up to sixteenth place, we have Ash. Let's go, Ash. No messing about, straight across. Nice, look at this. He just goes straight up there. He gets nothing. I 
I wish I didn't have to make those clips out of patches. I'm sorry, guys. Invisible <laughs> clips are no fun, I know. You should be sorry. Only 7.7. Just getting faster and faster. Kind of, well, I mean, that's stating the obvious. Usually how it goes, yeah. <laughs> 15th place is Korshakov. More undeaders, nice. Oh, okay. Well, little, little hole in your patches there, right? The uh, trigger extends a little beyond the clips. I'm not mad at that. <laughs> there you have it. Straightforward and to the point is Korshikov. 14th. And dead Zerg. Shout out to Zerg. Fellow demo uh, reviewer. True, true. How can they get faster? We're on 14th now and they're still... They're so fast. Defraggers, man. Defraggers. He's happy about that. 26.8. <laughs> Yeah, teens place I love a now. good celebration. Oh yeah, for real. It's the boss. <laughs> boss baby. That's going to be the way of it from now on, isn't it? Is that faster than the jump bed? The bizarre uh, thing? I, uh, I would think so. Maybe a little bit, yeah. Twenty six point six. Twelfth place. Draconics. Finally another FPS clan tag. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the faster way. You're right. That's probably it. Wow, what a circle jump there. That was yeah, cool. Yeah, for real. 26.2. Yeah, he's happy as well. Up to 11th place. Gabba. Uh, who is this again? I think Procipop. Hmm. I think it's Procipop. Same colors. If only they just used their name. <laughs> Maybe Facebook was onto something, forcing people to use their real names everywhere. Yeah. I don't want you people to know my real name. <laughs> it's not Alan. No, it isn't. 26.1. For presumably Procky Pop. Top 10 we're in now. Wraith, let's go. Look at this cheeky boy. Oh, he lands on top of the patch. That's very funny. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, look at this. Ooh. Oh, so creative from Wraith. Let's go. He loves oh, the idiot. Nice. I think that's the first CPM demo that's touched that upper platform. Yeah. Let's see that one again. You know it's a good run when it's 10th place and we're replaying it. <laughs> You know the map's got some good skips when we're still being surprised. Yeah. This is so sick. I love that. Yeah. Wraith. I say this all the time, but Wraith is easily one of my favorite players. Not just in this game, but in this genre of game, because he plays. He's played a few. Next up, ninth place. You talking diabolical and all that? Uh, Reflex is where I know him from. I'm nice. There we go. And even another route off the side of the building. Oh, look at that circle jump. Did that pre jump do anything for him, I wonder? I don't know. It looks cool, though. Give him that. 
He <sighs> is power strafing his heart out. My goodness. Yeah. <sighs> Moscow is, is an excellent player. That was impressive strafing there. Yeah. That was so powerful. Shout out to Moscow. Eighth place. Is that, is that an eighth place? Are you having a laugh? Taking a leaf out of Moscow is a bit there with that. But it's the same run. <laughs> what? Somebody's somebody's sharing roots. Yeah, what's going on here? You're not allowed to share roots, lads. Come on. Clearly no one is route sharing in my deep fried competition. I want I don't know that he actually did it, but it looked like he landed on a tiny bit of a ramp there to get just a little bit of extra speed for the slick. I don't know if that would have done anything though. Twenty four point nine. You get so much speed off of slick and CPM. Yeah. Seventh place. Don't know who this is. <laughs> okay. Even more creative. Come on, guys, play the map. Only four point seven in the end. Uh, sex place. I think people think it's source. I think it's source. Soup with sense. the pre jump. Yeah, they're landing on that little angled bit just to get a tiny bit more. It's not much to say there, just Yeah, it's clean as is yep. Soup's runs. Quite four point six. Top five around two now. Just using every skip in the book. <laughs> Rest goblins, mom. Let's go, Mac. Yeah, see what you mean about that little ramp. Yeah. Just another clean, perfect execution. Yeah, 24.4. I don't know how it gets faster. It does, though. Frosty. Look at these pre-jumping cowards. More of this. Oh, definitely. Oh, more direct. More metal. Yeah. I think that was made possible because he didn't jump where the other guys did. Okay. And it completely changed his spacing. We're barely landing on the edge of that slick. 23.9. That is nasty, you're right. Up into the top three now. Things should get crazy here. If they aren't already. Yeah, Western it's pretty crazy already. It's the nightmare. Not wazzle Dazzle. <laughs> wazzle Dazzle Nightmare. Yeah. Going for the corner of that building again. Oof. Oh my god, that's I even. knew he was... That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I was like, why is he going for the slick pads first? Or third, I guess. Alright. 3.8. Yeah, we can see that one again. That was pretty cool. Still eking out that little bit of creativity, even in the top three. I'm also, I'm really happy that somebody actually used those uh, <laughs> complete detail background buildings. Yeah. I knew it. Like, as soon as I saw that you could stand on some of them, and like, they weren't just clipped out or something, I was like, yeah, someone's definitely going to do that. Shoutouts to Knight, 23.8 in the end. Right, second place. Goblin. Goblin's uh -huh. back. He was in Australia and he couldn't play, but now he's back, I assume. He had to get, he had to get revenge for somebody rizzing up his mum. Yeah, for real. It's so hard to see where the 
where they're gaining on each other at this point. 23.3? Yeah. Like, I feel like maybe even checkpoints are useless because they're skipping half of the checkpoint triggers. Yeah. And they're non-linear anyway, so... Yeah. All right, first place. Let's see. I have no idea who this is. Bit of an anti-climax. I was hoping it would be a big name. And it uh, probably is. But yeah, it might be. Oh, going straight to the end. And up the little ramp. Let's go. That was cool. It's apparently, it's 2 3. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. It is. Look. 22.9. Oh, 22. That's crazy. Wow. Way to go, Tuddy. Well, that is that has to be faster than hitting the jump pad twice, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. This is my favorite part, though. Like doing is that a double jump? It seems fast enough that that was a, that would give you a double jump. Uh, I don't. He, know I that did he, he jumped twice. He did jump he twice. Slipped. At least you can hear him jump twice. Oh, I have the sound off. He has the sound off. You're a madman. Right, let's 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 take a look at this one more time. Yeah, please. I, th I, think, like he's I think he's jumping. I think he's jumping. Fast enough, or like he's, he's definitely jumping twice, and I think it's quick enough that it could give him a double jump by presumably b uh, bumping his head off of the ceiling. Oh yeah, that is a double jump. What is Still? he even? I don't know. <laughs> oh, that tiny! Wow, that is the most, <laughs> the most precise double jump I've ever yeah. seen. That is pretty crazy. He should get an impressive medal for that on the DF comps leaderboard. I mean, there's so, there's so many impressive strategies in this map. It's hard to pick yeah. one, but I think that one takes the cake, to be honest, just for being incredibly precise. No one else did it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think that one wins. Like, I don't know if he is I... touching the ceiling, though, because it's not that low of a... It's not that it, low a ceiling, it's is not... it? I feel like I, I don't know what else he'd be double jumping off of though. Yeah, I don't know. That's the only explanation. I oh can... my god! So when you go down there, the platforms raise like a couple units one at a time for the first few. He double jumped off uh -huh. of like a one unit tall step. So he not jumps only... and then right. Okay, sorry, go on. Not only that, the the slick pads are slick, right? But that little corner where there's a different texture is not slick. So he's like going. One, the precision there is just crazy. He's going like one unit. He's like one unit away from losing the slick and losing all of his speed, and he's doing a double jump off of I think a two unit tall brush. It's just crazy. Like where the trim on this brown texture ends, the slick ends. So he's going so close to it. Jesus, that's awesome. That is awesome. That's so cool. And he did that third. That was his third path. Absolutely insane. So we did end up with 44 runs in CPM. And 29 in VQ3. I came 36 if demos. anyone cares. Yeah, that's, pretty, that's how we do. That's how we roll. Rory or Roddy or someone was in 38th place. That's the demo that got skipped. Unfortunately, sorry about that. Um, we are going to take just a quick look at the next map, at next week's map. It is a uh, rocket and plasma map by Halvor GB and Ghost. Let's go. I love this map. So proud of this. Just I had out. a little bit of input. It's a beautiful map. I hope not too much input. No. Otherwise, I mean, look at all the skips on my map if I had too much input. <laughs> Good thing the stream can't see we're on, us. We're on FPS Cup 03. 
Oh my god. What? Is it just two? No, it's O2, but it's round five. Oh my god. What? Hang on, though. Do you not have the PK3? I do have a PK3. Of course I have a PK3. Like, we're... we're like, listen. <laughs> we're revealing how it works here. We're pulling back the curtain. Entertain the chat while I fix this. Uh, what are, what's the chat saying? Uh, you're Which, not reading the chat. The stream tab is closed. I'm sorry. He doesn't have yeah, any... Uh, no chat. No... No sound. This guy's not even right. trying. Frosty, 100 megabyte quake map, 100% worth it. It's Jesus. just gonna blow everybody's mind. I think there, there are a couple rounds here. Yeah. It's worth every megabyte. Trust me. If you're a fan of Elden Ring or Damn. Sekiro. Alright. We can see it. Uh... I'm not going to actually play the map because this is not my config. Um, nice. It looks pretty cool to start with. You're not showing me. I am showing you. Am I not? Well, I am showing I you. I have to watch the stream. It's in Discord, mate. You're not, you must have not clicked on it. Amateur. Amateur. Seriously. First of all, this map looks awesome. Justifies 100 megabytes, huh? Uh... I don't know about that. <laughs> it does look beautiful, though. Shout out to... So it's it's a classic Halvor style where you're just carrying your speed through the whole thing, basically. Uh, it's Dark Souls themed, which is awesome. That was my yeah. input, by the way. Nice. The theme. Uh, you got some slick here. There's these candles on the wall every once in a while, and those are where you gain weapons or whatever. Oh, really? like, yeah. So there's near the start, there were some red candles just up ahead. There's going to be, I think, some purple ones or whatever. Ah, these. Yeah, here. Right, yeah. Okay. So this is where you get new weapons, you know, classic Halvor style. I hope these bonfires are checkpoints. Yeah, me too. Going up here, the library. The library section. With an open sky, because that's how you protect books, right? Yeah, for real. Oh, this map just looks awesome. Yeah, it does. They had defraggers lying everywhere. They couldn't rocket jump. They couldn't do it. Or they rocket jumped too much. Oh, this map looks awesome. <laughs> this is this is uh, where all the strafe players go to lie. Nice. Is there, am I right in thinking there's two routes here? No. No, I thought that was a doorway. It is a doorway, but it's pure detail. It's a door. It's not a doorway. Exactly. We're going to get into semantics. Yikes. More bonfires. The bonfires look really cool. Yeah, they do. Ghost did a really good job with the little bit that I gave him. Ghost doesn't get paid enough. To do all this. Oh, he gets paid plenty. All he does is sit on his <laughs> ass all day. Shout out to the birds. I love the birds. <laughs> this is the thumbnail for next week's stream. Just the birds. More plasma section here. The birds were Blicker's one input on this map. Craw, craw. I have to turn the sounds on. I guess the birds um, call at you. Oh, this map is huge. It yeah. keeps going. This has got to be the end here. By the yeah, bell. that's the end. The bells are relevant in Dark Souls. I've never played... I have played it, but I've not like played through it. I know the bells are relevant in Dark Souls, though. For some reason. Yeah. I mean, I just, I just sent Ghost a bunch of meshes and textures, and he just did his magic. It was so fun to watch. Every, every few days, he'd send an update, and it just looked better and better and better. Hang about, hang about. I turned the sounds on. Just, just for, uh, just for Halvor. Mainly, uh, mainly, mainly the torches crackling. Mainly the torches, yeah. What? 
I could just fly around this map all day and look at all these Great. details, man. This is awesome. So good. For real. I just want to hear the birds and then <laughs> and then that's us. Oh. There you go. Here. There's a few here. Man, he really loves the crackling sound though, huh? Yeah, that's gonna that would drive me nuts enough to turn the ambient sounds off, unfortunately. Oh, these birds are different. Hell yeah. Hang on, that's a that's a chickadee sound. Ghost, that's what the hell? Chickadee sound? Yeah, that's a chickadee. You're a chickadee. Right. Thank that you everybody like for watching. This has been the round four. Defrag Demo Review FPS Cup 2. Thank you for joining me, Kit and Ignition. You've been a pleasure. What an honor to see firsthand, first peek at all those insane demos. That was awesome. Yeah. Massive shout outs to all the gamers. Those demos were very impressive, very creative. Just what we want to see. Definitely. It's a fun to find someone to read. But yeah, thank you. My name's been Crazy Owl. This has been Ken Ignition. You guys have all been very beautiful. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. See you next week.